Hello, I want to thank you guys for tuning into my video. Today we are here with Dead Rising 4. I'm running Dead Rising 4 on my GTX 1060. It's not just any 1060. This is a 1066 gigs DDR5. I'm also running an AMD FX 830, 8370 at 8 core processor, 4.3 GHz max, 10 gigs of RAM. All the other computer specs will be in the description below. As you can see, the game is maxed out to its full capability. I ran it earlier and I was getting about a decent 80 frames per second, but you know, uh, there's always a re re reduction a in frames channels. when you're recording. What's this about a convoy? So, as you can see, we're looking at about fluctuation anywhere to 70 to them. about 85 frames per second. But so far, so good. Something else. I think Calder might be the monster's name. That sounds like a man, not a monster. Okay, I, I'll let you guys know right now. I'm not saying I'm any good at the game. But I do this strictly for performance and testing on certain graphic cards. So don't hate me if I'm terrible, but I'm not saying that I'm terrible. I say I'm decent. I'm okay. Yeah, you know you like my lifesaver. Like Love it that they incorporated the lifesaver into this game. This game has really, really, really taken a huge step towards the better. Honestly, Dead Rising 2 and 3 were amazing, but they didn't have the arsenal of weapons and capabilities that there are now in Dead Rising 4, which make, pretty much made me fall in love with this game. I have yet to beat the game, but trust me, I plan on it. So right now we're still in that same window from about 70 to 85 frames per second. But let me go ahead and get in a more highly populated area of zombies and see how that does. Ooh, nice. Here we go. Oh, I see him up ahead. I'm gonna troop. Check out this guy right quick. Last time I died because he shot me and I was I didn't even see him up there. He just fucking shot me a few times and I was dead. This is Sparta. So right now as you guys can see it did drop down to about 54 frames per second. Without recording that would probably be at about 60. But hey 54 50 anywhere from 50 to 60 frames per second is fantastic. Run of the game maxed out once again. That is really good to me, honestly. I like that. It's not bad. Once again, I am not great at this game. This is only for testing purposes as far as performance and other things that may interest me. If you guys are in it, want to see any game on a GTX 1066, please do leave it in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. My god. I don't know what drugs they're on, but they're fucking bad. I so need to increase my durability because these guns and weapons complete so damn fast it's not even funny. As you can see, we're still at about 50 frames per second, which is not bad considering how highly populated it is with zombies and whatnot. And the axe is about to take a... Yeah. 
This is like survival of the fittest here. You gotta fucking live to survive. I don't think I'm gonna survive very long. <laughs> this guy's fucking intense. Dear God. I love that kick. That jump kick is fucking amazing. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, how do you like that generator? Generated that force to your face. So right now we're about 40 to 50 frames per second. Either a pure driver suck or some bad shit's going down. The fluctuation is real, people. But honestly, it's still good gameplay. It's not really causing any major uh, bottleneck or lagging or anything like that. I do apologize to have to cut this video short. Thank you for tuning in to my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do like, share, and comment if you like this video. Until next time, touche.